Only on Fox here tonight, the city of Houston stops a big construction project at a southwest side apartment complex for failing to obtain required permits. permits. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live in the newsroom now with more. Randy? Yeah, Anthony, now if you've ever done any major renovations within the city limits of Houston, then you know you have to get the proper permits. The park at Voss Apartments didn't bother to do that. Last Monday, Alex San Martin and dozens of other residents at Park at Voss Apartments, 2424 South Voss Road, were told they would have no water last Wednesday through Friday. How am I supposed to take a shower and brush my teeth? Alex says he booked a motel room for the three waterless days. He says he got quite the shock as he left his apartment last Wednesday. And I saw construction people removing the ceiling, and I saw de debris on the floor. And I was like, what is going on here? I was like, this is kind of strange. Like, I've never seen anything like this before. Buildings A and B no longer had ceilings, just exposed pipes and wiring. It didn't look safe to Alex. Hey, hypothetically, if somebody's, you know, acting foolish or not very smart, and they could just go up and cut the wires, and all these wires are connected to, like, each apartment unit. Alex decided to call Houston's helpline, 311. Code Enforcement Department, uh, City Inspector Mr. Lopez uh, called me uh, that afternoon. Turns out Park at Voss didn't get permits for the work. Now this orange code enforcement letter is taped on the leasing office door. It says the work must stop and can't continue until required permits can be obtained. Disappointing. <laughs> I mean, you, you want the place that you live at to do the right thing. You know, the property management, they should have gone through the, the city to get the proper city permit and the proper inspection before they even start any construction or project. The manager at Park at Voss referred us to the corporate media office for response. We called and have yet to hear back. Reporting live from the newsroom, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.